Nomadic tradition of combat practices used for a variety of reasons, such as self-defense, military, and law enforcement applications, mental and spiritual development, entertainment, and the preservation of cultural heritage. It becomes apparent how deadly the martial arts can be, especially considering that they were created for use in battle. Here are the 10 deadliest martial arts ever created. Kung Fu Kung Fu is a martial arts style that you've most definitely heard of, even if you're not interested in martial arts. Kung Fu is actually an umbrella term for hundreds of related Chinese styles of martial arts. Kung Fu is said to have been developed in ancient China. No information exists on actually when. But Kung Fu has traditionally been associated with self-defense, inner peace, and military training. Quan Fa is another Chinese term to describe Kung Fu, and it literally means law of the fist. Kung Fu has managed to have a profound impact on the martial arts of nearly every country of the world and is one of the most popular styles you will see in traditional media. Jeet Kune Do When you think of the greatest martial artists of all time, it's very hard not to include Bruce Lee on your list. Without Bruce Lee, martial arts could have never had the global popularity and impact that they have today. One of Bruce Lee's greatest legacies is the Jeet Kune Do, or the JKD style. JKD is a hybrid fighting style that was created by Bruce Lee that incorporates styles like Jun Fan Gung Fu, Wing Chun, traditional Taekwondo, Tai Chi, boxing, catch wrestling, and more of Bruce Lee's favorite fighting styles in combat. Aside from Bruce Lee, the style is also practiced by his son, Brendan Lee, and many other martial artists like Anthony Arnett and Alex Caceres. Sistema Sistema is a Russian style of martial arts that has a very mysterious or unknown history. It is a hybrid style that incorporates elements from other Russian styles, such as Sambo, as well as more traditional Japanese styles like Judo and Aikido. The style became more popular at the end of the Soviet Union and today follows an unorganized structure with many different teachers teaching their own versions of Sistema that are usually named after themselves. Judo Judo is an essential part of martial arts. Practically no martial arts style would be complete without at least some sort of judo influences. The style was created in 1882 by Japanese martial arts legend Jigoro Kano, taking many influences from jujitsu. It is a competitive martial arts style where you aim to take down or throw your opponent to the ground to win. The competitive aspect of judo makes it a much more technical and restrictive style. Today, millions of people learn judo every year. Judo as a sport is played in the Olympics, and it is one of the most popular styles of martial arts in the world. Line System We've talked about martial arts styles used by various militaries throughout history before, but what style of martial arts is used by the most powerful army in the history of mankind? Sometime in the 1980s, the U.S. Marine Corps developed a style of martial arts known as the line combat system. It carefully borrows the best elements from almost all of the most well-known styles of martial arts in the world and incorporates them into some sort of mega style that is tailor-made to give U.S. Marines the best combat training imaginable. More recently, line training has become more popular among regular people as retired Marines are teaching their experiences after finishing their service. Karate Karate needs very little introduction. It is a style of martial arts that is so popular that many people seem to confuse karate as being martial arts in general. It was developed during the Middle Ages inside the Ryukyu Kingdom, today a part of Japan. It borrowed heavy elements from traditional Ryukyu martial arts as well as Kung Fu. 
It comes in many variations like full combat, semi-combat, and light combat. It's never a bad idea to learn karate. It is the most popular martial arts style on the planet. Starting from 2021, karate will officially be an Olympic sport, which brings brand new opportunities for the style. Sambo. Sambo is a Soviet style of martial arts that was developed by the Soviet Union in the 1920s. It was developed for the Red Army in the early years of the Soviet Union and is credited for making Russian-style martial arts popular across the world. The creators of Sambo are thought to be Viktor Sparidinov and Vasily Ochepkov, two national champions in the Soviet Union. It is one of the most popular wrestling styles in the world and is practiced by many of your favorite UFC fighters. Some legends who practice Sambo include Murat Kasanov, an 11-time world champion, and Irina Rodina, an 11-time world champion who is considered one of the greatest female martial artists of all time. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu We've covered almost every region on Earth when it comes to martial arts, but it's fitting that the one time a South American style has made our list, it made the absolute top spot. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a style of martial arts that was created by Brazilian brothers Carlos, Oswaldo, Gustavo, George, and Helio Gracie. They created the technique after a Japanese martial artist had taught them traditional Jiu-Jitsu in Brazil so they continued developing it after he left. The style focuses heavily on grappling, submission, and striking, and eventually gained mass popularity. The most notable thing about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the impact it has had on MMA. Practically every MMA fighter you see today will be an expert of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and to list some of the most notable people who practice it, we would probably need a couple of more videos. Muay Thai Muay Thai is a boxing-based style of martial arts that is now considered an essential style to learn for any mixed martial artist. Muay Thai was first developed in the 18th century in Thailand and became extremely popular around the world in the late 20th to 21st century when many Western countries started holding mixed rules matches under Muay Thai rules. Muay Thai's style is known as the art of eight limbs because of its heavy use of knees, elbows, fists, and shins. Today, you can find schools teaching Muay Thai all across the world, and many of the most successful MMA fighters in the world have had extensive training under Muay Thai. Krav Maga Krav Maga is a relatively recent creation when it comes to martial arts. It was developed by the Israeli Defense Force that focuses on self-defense combat. It borrows elements from boxing, wrestling, Aikido, Judo, and Karate, and the father of this technique is believed to be Hungarian-Israeli martial artist Emi Lichtenfeld. This style is made to be used in real-world situations and is extremely efficient. It is a very aggressive style that can be used in both offensive and defensive situations, although it is meant to be used in a more defensive way. Today, the Krav Maga has become a popular martial arts fighting style outside of just the Israeli military. There are many schools across the world that specialize in Krav Maga, and the style has its own ranked system similar to Judo, with the black belt being the highest achievable rank. And that concludes our video on 10 Deadliest Martial Arts Ever. Right